Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Uh, today I'm in my T49 on Lakeville with Drewski. Uh, apparently great games happen when you're with Drewski on Lakeville. Alright, so we are in a 10 match. And you know my theory on this map is the two line. However, we're an encounter and I'm in a scout. So I am going to make sure that all their tanks that try to cross that field are going to get lit. And hopefully my team sets up and shoots them. So here we go. Let the fun begin. Spot a 1390. I'm aiming. And my level 9 crew that I had in this tank I put back in my patent. So I no longer have it in here. I missed my shot. He actually shot and then moved right when I pulled my trigger. That stubby sets up to get shots in me, so I gotta make sure I move. Spot an E5, two E75s, and a 105. <clears throat> Racking up the spotted target hits. Now you can see they got two heavies and E2. Um, and we sent one tank over there, so one heavy and C2. So taking the lake road on this is got two benefits. If you have a good scout that's willing to spot the field. Benefit one, everybody can shoot the tanks as they cross, as they get into the city. Benefit two, is once they're two line, finally just uh, figures out that you don't have anyone there uh, you can just set up a defense in B3 and make it difficult for them to come over so that conqueror shortcutted it into the city um, and I tracked him there so my team is making him pay their chieftain in B2 kills our 5120 and Drewski's up in B2. Um, he's letting me know that they're coming. And we do have two guys going back. I just wanted to make sure I got a shot into this 1390. Um, and for some god awful reason, there's a motion on the lake road. Please don't ever take your heavy tank on the lake road. At least not the beginning of the game. It makes zero sense. In my video of what I wish I knew I was tanking, when I talked about heavy tanks being in taking important roles, that's not one of them. So Drewski gets lit, if this Conqueror turns his turret on me, he's gonna get wrecked by those tank destroyers. Uh, so I do like 700 damage, shoot him up the butt. And now, don't judge me on my driving skills, I promise you I had lag here. So I got a T49 that's almost dead, going to fight a T62A. And I wanna try to save him, but who knows. Somebody puts a rock right in front of my tank to stop me. I think they just wanted that T-49 dead. <clears throat> but he does live long enough to get a distraction for me so I can shoot this guy up the butt too. So I do a thousand damage to him, I ammo rack him. And now I'm setting up an ambush. I really like this position because he can't see me in between the rock. And then as soon as he comes around, I can just flip over. However, the grill, ruins my plans and ammo racks him, pops his head off like a dandelion. So up I go. Eight to five, really at this point, I'm just in go mode. Uh, I wanna crush everything. And unfortunately there's a T-49. But then I realize this guy doesn't know how to play the T-49. Um, it has a little pencil gun, so I smash his face and make him wish that he had the big gun. And then here comes the bat chat. <clears throat> he shoots one shell at me, and you'll notice if you watch his gun, he just drives by us. So you're telling me that there's a bat chat sitting, waiting for us to come around the corner, and all he has is one shell? Drew lays the wood on him, he rams Drew. And he's got 592 hit points. He's a squishy target for my derp gun. And Drew's not happy about it. He's in a slower tank than me. And honestly, you guys, 
Drewski rubs it in my face whenever he's uh, higher on the leaderboard than me, so I just gotta make sure that if I'm in a more mobile tank that I need to crush every teammate that he has an opportunity to kill, so he can't bully me. Alright, so they had two Death Stars on the lake road, and this was one of them. I have to make a high jump over top, and unfortunately I don't get a shot into this guy's butt. Um, but I did enough damage. Unfortunately, I rammed him and died. Um, and that's pretty much going to be the end of the game. Our grill takes down the 183, and then our 183 is fighting an M103 that has like little to no health. And what does he try to do? He tries to side scrape him out, or a 183 in the city, and our 183 just smashes him in the head. So that is the end of the game. I got five kills. No, I'm sorry. I think he got five kills. I don't know. We'll see it at the end game. So what can you learn from this video? How to scout. How to scout for your team how important scouting is. Alright, so I throw down an ace tanker, I get 41, almost 4200 damage and 41 assisted. Yeah, my 183 had 5 kills, so I had 3 kills. And you can see on their team, their bat chat did 4000. And the rest of their team really didn't do anything. Okay, their Death Star down almost had 4,000 too. But besides those two, their team really didn't do anything. And to me, these guys really just played passive sniper the whole time. So, bless their heart, they sat and camped and sniped. Probably trying to get their three marks. Alright, that's all I got for you guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.